He was like, our dinghy is floating away, our dinghy is floating away. He's trying to do the, the figure eight. <laughs> Bell! And <laughs> off! Welcome to Sailing Lady Africa. I'm Ricky and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. It's got a little fuel run this morning. We've got to get fuel for the jerry can because everything's quite far, so we're using the, the dinghy quite a bit. So we're gonna get to top up with fuel, do some laundry. We've got a we've got two of these bags. We've got such so much laundry. It's from the whole crossing and that. So we could do it on the boat, but it would use a lot of water and it's quite a lot uh, easier to do it there. So we'll just wash and come and hang it up to dry. After this we won't use the laundry services anymore we'll just do it on the boat because then it's just, just mine and some own stuff so that's pretty easy and then later we're going to island world with uh, Louis and um, Peter to go and uh, check it out and who knows what we get up to today we'll see we've been there um, it's like a for those that don't know obviously water world. Island, island water world, world. Yeah. Island world. <laughs> and there's like two uh, marine stores on the island. One's Island Waterworld and the other one is uh, Budget Marine and they both seem like super well stocked. Expensive but super well stocked I suppose but everything's expensive in the Caribbean yeah, no. from what we've seen um, but well stocked so you won't have a shortage of finding something I think the more the problem would be the price of the things. He was like our dinghy is floating away our dinghy is floating away. He jumps in the water and I said what happened? He says no he untied it but he didn't retie it. My mind was on the fishing man. He There's was fishing. A bait ball coming through. So he just left the dinghy untied. Because <laughs> he needs to fish. Hey, Ricky. We dropped off our laundry in the washing machine and then headed off right next door to get some petrol for our dinghy. The next stop was Island Waterworld for some fittings. The nice thing about St. George's is that everything is a little dinghy right away. He's trying to do the, the figure eight. <laughs> Bell! Not you gotta go you gotta go long. It works. Yes, he yes, babes. Yeah. You don't know how to tie a knot, tie a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to start lassoing some cows in and stuff, and you'll yeah. be better. After all our shopping shenanigans, it was time to go get our laundry and go hang it up on the boat. Lone's busy hanging up the laundry. <laughs> She's using every inch of line that we have on the boat. We have to wash literally all our linen, blankets, cushions. Because, I mean, we haven't washed it since Ascension. And it's been hot and everyone's sweaty and they're lying on the pillows. So they had to wash everything. So the whole boat has like no linen. Ricky's been outside for almost three hours and he's trying to catch fish at like nine o'clock at night. Okay, don't fear. You know I've got skill, mad skill. He's got his light on, he's got his flashlight. There's something big down there, keeps on flashing every once in a while. Chicken, there he goes. Yeah, I can't okay, check him, man. Good and dark! <laughs> so we're here on a Nordhaven and um, our German friends Peter and Louis uh, invited us to come check it out and then we're gonna go wakeboarding because their tender is 
powerful enough to pull us behind it so we're gonna go wakeboarding out there by the beach it's gonna be good ready we're gonna go wakeboarding a bit <laughs> so our friends peter and louis and uh, we met them here in grenada and we're gonna go wakeboarding with them Strong one is down, strong one down, and the uh, weak one hurts you. Yeah. Louise first had to give us a little crash course on how it's done. No matter how deep it goes. It's the first time? Uh, second, second time. time. Make me proud. Ricky was a natural. Unfortunately, somehow the footage of me doing backflips got deleted or Ricky forgot to press record. Damn. But then we checked out the local music. It was my first time checking out a steel pan. Then we headed off to the grocery store the next day. How you doing, baby cakes? We're scouting at the local market. So it's Sunday morning and we just went to go get some groceries quickly at one of the local shops here. And uh, we realized we can actually bring the dinghy and just tie it up here. And this is inside the harbor, the main harbor. And we can just go across the road and there's the grocery store. So we can tie up there. Just go to the grocery store inside the main harbor. So we are going to be moving anchorages to around the island all the time. So the other base. when we get back here, then we know. We can do it. It was time to head back to the bone dropper for the groceries. I don't need to be hurt or rescued, not by you. We've got a bait ball under the boat. I've got my sabiki out, so it's just a bunch of hooks on a line with the little feathers, like that, with a little sinker. I'm going to catch a bunch of them so that. Tomorrow we got uh, bait for our trawl back. We're gonna move over to, uh, what is the name of the place? Whisper Cove. Whisper Cove, yeah. So, but there's two Whisper or three good Whisper fishing Cove. spots and I wanna trawl with uh, with some bait. So we're gonna get some dead bait and we'll freeze them up. Let's see. On. On. No. Hey. After replenishing the boat with fuel, diesel and food, we went for a dive at the underwater sculpture park here in St. George. Don't inhale so much, you're choking me. Oh, everything you think you own or have the right to. While we dive, don't forget to press that subscribe button below and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it. It's a free way you can support our channel. I was pretty excited to see my first trumpet fish. The following day, me and Ricky headed back to the Coronage to go check out the Museum of Chocolates. Mm -hmm. 
And a bonus is that they were serving homemade ice cream. How's your ice cream? It's homemade, that's for sure. It's freaking good. I like mine a lot. Mine's really good. Mine's really, really good. Told you, mine's way better than yours. So we are picking up Anchor um, and we're going to move over to Whisper Cove which is about a two hour sail from here and then we're going to hang out there for a bit. We have some friends over there that anchored there as well so we're going to go hang out with them and um, yeah so we just want to explore the island. The easiest way to do it is by anchoring in every little spot and exploring that section. The minute we left the sheltered bay, the wind came howling through up to 30 knots. We were beating the whole way up to Whisper Cove, but we were greeted with a nice sheltered bay. So we moved anchorages. Um, we were at St. George's, um, the main city, or town where everyone really goes to get groceries and whatnot we moved to an anchorage it took us about two and a half hours to get here we had a nice uh, little uh, rough passage to this anchorage it wasn't um, the calmest weather but we got here and we just are going to pretty much chill out here and explore this side of the island um, Grenada is pretty big. We definitely underestimated the size of it. So we're just going to hop around Anchorages and then explore each section and then hopefully we'll be able to explore the town like that. And then there's these really cheap buses that you can take. Um, they're like the minivan taxis in South Africa. So I think it's like two um, EC, so the Caribbean dollar and it's not expensive. And you can go anywhere around the, the town like that too. So I think that's the cheapest option for us. Um, so we're probably going to hop taxis and then explore inland. Because there's supposedly like amazing waterfalls and hot springs and sulfur springs. And uh, a lot of stuff that we haven't really experienced um, on our journey. So we're super excited. And this anchorage is really cool. We've met some amazing people and... Um, yeah, so we're, we're happy to be here. We went for that dive um, there by St. George's. It's where all the underwater sculptures are. And it was really cool. I love that dive. I would say it's one of my favorites. I like to see like little fish and coral and like colorful fish and like the more scenic dives really than the adventurous ones. Like cave diving whatever so um, it was one of my favorite dives and the water was so nice I didn't even have a weight suit on I just had my long my longs on and it was really nice it was it's my type of diving so um, yeah that was really cool and then we found out we didn't even do like a quarter of what actually is there we're keen on diving there again and going to actually explore it there's a few wrecks here that we want to go dive so there's just so many diving spots here and Grenada's gonna keep us busy. After settling down in our new spot, we decided to rent a car with our German friends and go up to the waterfalls. Supposedly, there are about five in Grenada. This one was called Annadale. So we're here by Annadale Waterfall with our German friends and uh, we're going to go swim in the waterfall and check it out and then probably go to the Sulphur Springs afterwards. It was cool to experience here on this tropical island in the middle is a lush forest with waterfalls.
The waterfall was pretty powerful and it felt like you were getting thrown with little pebbles. <laughs> then we drove down to check out the Grand Etang Lake and hopefully spot some Mona monkeys. But to no such luck, we didn't find any monkeys, which means we probably will have to come back to find them. This lake is pretty boring. Huh? <laughs> it's pretty boring lake. Yeah. Then to a treatment plant. It's pretty cool. It's chilly up here. It's cold. It's so cold. But we're 2,000 feet. It's cold. It's cold. Sulfur spring, so I can get warm. There's nothing here. Nothing. Yeah. No. Yeah, the sulfur springs. Bloody cold. Yeah. Stay tuned till next week as we go explore the sulfur springs and celebrate Ricky's birthday the way he's always wanted to in the Caribbean. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you would like to support our channel, you can do so by clicking on any of the links in the description below. Have an awesome weekend and week ahead, guys.